With three national championships up and running, there's always plenty of excitement on track at the Dubai Autodrome. But there's one part of the Autodrome that, thankfully, the large majority of competitors never get to see. Tucked away at the entrance to the paddock is a state-of-the-art medical and emergency unit on standby for when the unthinkable happens. The unit is headed up by the Autodrome's chief medical officer, Wayne Bishenden. I'm in charge of medical services for the entire Autodrome complex. Um, we have two medical facilities, the big one here on the main circuit, uh, which covers um, all the events that, that happen here, both national, international and corporate. And I have a small medical facility at the Cartron, which looks after the two circuits there, the indoor and the outdoor. Undoubtedly, the medical centre is the one place that competitors hope they'll never end up. But without the skills and commitment of Wayne and the rest of his medical team, there wouldn't be any racing at the Autodrome circuit. Each race day, he and his team start with an early morning briefing, where they go through the track layout, emergency stations, shortcuts to potential incident locations, first response procedures, as well as their own safety around the circuit. So if you decide to come in front of a car that's been 220 kilometers, he's going to kill you. Working closely with race control and the track marshals, it's the medical team's responsibility to ensure that any incidents are dealt with as quickly as possible. As a result, Wayne and his team make sure that they can be on the scene of any accident within 60 seconds. That's 30 seconds faster than the international standard of 90 seconds. We have a few minutes to stabilise, to bring him in the air, to continue stabilising him the best we can and get him out of here within 20 minutes. And there's two ways we get him out, either by road or by air. If it's critical, air. Of course, Rashid is approximately 24 minutes away from here if you're driving at a speed of about 120 kilometres. So by air, it's six minutes. So that saves us a lot of time. The medical centre is perhaps the Autodrome's best kept secret but that doesn't stop its facilities being nothing short of impressive. Such is the extent of the care they're able to provide that in many cases, Wayne and his team are able to treat patients with non-life-threatening injuries on site. This is the minor procedure room. All patients that come off the circuit come in here. They get assessed, stabilised, and on part of the assessment, we determine whether they stay and get discharged or we move them to Rashi Trauma Center. And this is our X-ray department. This is an FIA requirement for the circuit. This is our burn unit. All burn victims from the circuit come here. We strip them, we cool them, then we support whatever they require. And again, we determine if they go to high care or we move them out. This is the high care uh, facility. It's sort of our in little intensive care units, which we, again, we keep as overflow for critical care patients. Both beds are equipped with non-invasive monitoring devices as well as a portable ventilator and to manage our fluid intake we have these pumps as well. And while thankfully racing accidents don't happen very often, having such a skilled and dedicated team of professionals on call every race weekend undoubtedly gives the National Race Day Series competitors peace of mind. We are the guys behind the scene we never really recognise, you know. Uh, so when someone does and say thank you, it's appreciated. That, that, that's the best uh, we, we get. 